Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm just under 100 away from 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave here. So, in today's video, I have a Primark haul. So, this is my first Primark haul of 2019, the first of many. I don't actually have that much stuff because the whole two front sections were gym stuff and, you know, New Year. But I don't need new gym stuff and there was so much summer stuff in. Like, it's too early for summer stuff. Saying that, I did actually get one summer bit. But yeah, there were so many bikinis and all of their summer stuff was in. And I was just like, where, where's the knitwear? For me, it's a bit too early for the summer stuff. Like, I haven't even figured out my summer style yet. Like, I haven't even thought about that. So yeah, I don't want to be buying stuff. And then come summer, I'm like, why did I buy this? I don't even like it. But saying that, they did have some very, very nice bikinis that looked a lot more expensive than Primark. So if you have got new holidays booked and you're going holiday soon, definitely recommend going and checking out Primark's. That's a bit rude. As I was saying, definitely check out Primark's bikinis if you are going on holiday, because they were very nice. I just can't fit in them, so it's a bit sad. So I was just saying how it's too early for summer stuff, but the first thing I got is a pair of shorts. I know, I hate myself. But I couldn't say no because they're Dalmatian print. So I got these in a size 10 and they were £4. And yeah, they were Dalmatian print so I just had to bring them home with me. Okay, so these are shorts. I can't even get my hand in my pocket because my ring. So yeah, they've got two pockets here. And what I really like about them as well is they've got the paper bag waist, which I absolutely love. I've just left them on. I've just left them on. I've just left the turtleneck on with them and I actually really like it. I think this paired with like some boots or some heels for like drinks or like a meal out, even now, would be such a cute outfit because you can just like cover up with a long coat. Only thing is I wish, if any of you will see that, like I wish the print was like a larger Dalmatian print because from far away it, it just looks like spots kind of. Like it's like I wish it was more of like a obvious Dalmatian print. Obviously you can dress them down as well with some trainers but I probably would wear these dressed up for drinks or something in summer like I just said. A really nice length as well like they fully cover your bum and the belt means that you can like tighten them to like cinch your waist in if you wanted to. But yeah I think these are really really cute and for £4 you can't really go wrong can you? The next item is something a little bit out of my comfort zone so this is something I would never ever ever normally wear. But for some reason it just caught my eye and I had to get it. I was clearly loving animal print and neon when I was shopping earlier. I mean, not just earlier, I have been for the last couple of months. So I got this snake print long green dress. This is something I would never, ever, ever, ever normally pick up. But I've seen it on their Instagram and I saw it in the shop and I walked away from it and then walked back and then walked away from it and then walked back and I was like, I'm going to get it. It's out there, I'm going to say that and it's different for me but... Hey, it's 2019, I'm all about trying new things. So this is the green dress. I'm sorry you can't see like a full body shot, but I have so much rubbish either side of me because my mum uses my room as a dumping yard now I'm at uni. Oh, it's really annoying. Um, I might stand on my bed because I feel like with this you need to see like the full Shazam. It's got a slit in the leg, which is actually what drew me to this. I probably wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have that slit. Really hope you can see my legs then because they're not shaved because I can really couldn't be bothered. But yeah, I absolutely actually love this and I'm really, really surprised. I've moved back over here because it's just so much more comfortable. But I feel like my tripod's gone a bit wonky. Well, not mine, my dad's really rubbish one. I paired this with this turtleneck because obviously we are still in winter and I absolutely love how this looks. In summer, you could obviously just wear this dress by itself or just pair it with like a plain black t-shirt. Yeah, I love this. I just don't know if I have the confidence to wear it because of the style and the print together. If this was like a shift dress, like a short shift dress in this print, then I would literally keep it because I literally love it but yeah I just wish I had the confidence to wear this because with some black boots this would literally be such a cute outfit like I see people wearing these um long skirts and dresses all the time and I just wish I had the confidence to wear them at the moment in Primark there's a lot a lot of neon it looks like it's going to be coming into spring spring with us maybe even summer but yeah there was tons and tons of neon some of it was horrendous I'm not gonna lie but some of it was really nice like the jumper I've got so this is really bright look at that so bright but I absolutely love this and I love, love, love turtlenecks. So this was £13. Let me just check the labels in here. Yep, £13 and I got it in a medium, so it's size 12 to 14. Uh, it's the only sizes they had, but I don't mind it looking a bit oversized anyway. So I've just moved what was there so I can show you this rather than standing on the bed because I just couldn't bother to move everything again. But yeah, I've paired the jumper and the skirt together because obviously this has got bits of pink in it. So I thought the pink and the pink would just be really cute and I actually really really like this outfit 
Personally, I would prefer this in a smaller size because I feel like tucking it in would just bunch up so much hair and just make me look fat. So I've just tucked it in like this for now. But even this, like this looks cute. I absolutely love this turtleneck. It's got such a high, like chunky neck, which is what I love. I really, really do like the skirt. It's just so tight on my legs. I don't know if you can see that, but like I literally cannot even walk. The thing is like it fits fine on the waist. So if I got the size 12, it would be too big on the waist. I'd go and get the size 12, but I'm not always going to be tucking a jumper in, so I just feel like it would be so baggy. This is a problem of having a smaller waist and like big, chunky, fat legs. The next item I got is this tartan skirt. I absolutely love this. I love the colours. It's tan, black, it's got a like a kind of brighter pink and then a baby pink and I absolutely love the belt as well. I think that's so nice. And I got this in a size 10, so I'm hoping it fits because I haven't tried it on. And it was £10, so yeah. I don't actually have any accessories or homeware in this haul because it just wasn't really doing it for me. So the last item I have is this Primark. I do already own a pair of black joggers from the men's department, but they're straight leg and these ones are cuffed. I do prefer cuff, and I thought I needed a light grey in my life because who doesn't need a pair of joggers? And I actually really, really like these. They've got a drawstring here, so you can... You know, pull it in at the waist and I got these in a size small and these are only five pounds which is so good I've just left the pink jumper on with these grey joggers because they are just joggers but what the hell these are so tight on the legs they're good length but they're so tight on the legs my black ones are not this tight and because they're grey they just look chunkier right I'm gonna sit down here because this is really stressing me out I don't understand honestly can someone please tell me I don't understand why the ones that are, the black ones I have are small and they're not so tight on my legs. Sarah Jo Holder makes everything look amazing and these just look disgusting. That's everything I picked up. I know I only got five things, but hopefully my next Primark haul, fingers crossed, will be a huge one. I did really love all the pieces I got. It's just a shame not all of them wanted to cooperate, but it's fine. I can go and exchange. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!